Good evening and welcome back to another Flash Pilot tutorial. This time I will show you how to use the Motion Twin tool in Flash CS6. I have already got started by making my character and I have used six layers for each body part and uh, converted every layer to a symbol. Uh, and this is something you need to do when you work in the uh, twin sector. Uh, so, what I want to do as the first uh, thing is pressing the first uh, frame and scroll down to the last uh, and right click and just scope the frames and for example I want to make it 100, 150 frames long. So I do the same thing over here and just activate them all and paste the frames. So your animation will be of the total of 150 frames long. And uh, the next step in the process is to uh, just uh, activate every layer and right, oops, and right click so you make it like a motion twin. And as you can see, it has the blue, blue, uh, blue bars, and uh, this means that it's now a motion twin. And uh, yeah, the great, great thing with working with the motion twin is that it's extremely simple to uh, just uh, make change to your animation. For example, you see this red bar over here. This means that. Uh, well, when I do some, some changes with the animation now, it will make instant and keyframe uh, where I have like pressed the right, the red bar to be. So for example, at uh, 100 130 frames, I want to make it like that it has walked from this place over to this place. So I just drag the mouse and yeah, just move it over here. And as you can see, it just made keyframe for every la layer that I uh, that I forced away from point A. And uh, well, if you press control enter, you will see an extreme boring animation. And uh, of course, this is not the end result I want. I want to make it so it walks the whole process. And uh, so, for example, what I want to do now is go to the 30 frames and press the, yeah, I, I press the leg, for example. And uh, I can use the free, if you press Q, for example, if you not have it activated, it's Q, so you get it for the free transform. I can move it so it goes backwards and just, uh, yeah, as you see, just scale it, rotate it, rotate the leg and I do the same thing with the uh, left leg over here and I will do the same thing with the arms it's just a very simple process uh, and yeah, you can do the same thing with the head you can also use the arrow keys to just navigate it and uh, yeah, I start by just uh, show you what uh, this process will have done. So I press Ctrl Enter again, and as you see, this is now the start of the whole animation. And well, the end result is not the best, but it's because I have not finished the whole process. So I can go to like 80 frames, and I will use the th same thing over here, just using the leg so it will fit the whole animation just some just some small change, changes uh, for the body parts will do, do a huge difference when uh, the animation is moving so control enter again you will see that it wo walks slowly to its go and I can now just press the uh, 130 frames over here and just do the, I don't know, 
some small changes again uh, it's yeah like an like a tip it's just you just need to do some very very small like uh, editing oh I can change the place on the legs but if you do some major changes it, it will just uh, uh, make the whole animation worse oops so I press control enter again and well it start looking pretty good uh, not too bad anyway and I, as you can see I did this animation extremely fast uh, you will do like a similar animation in no time and well it's so easy so I hope you learned something new in this tutorial and uh, well if you enjoyed the tutorial whatever I will re really appreciate all the support I can get uh, please be uh, yeah thankful it's the only thing I appreciate so yeah uh, yeah uh, happy editing in flash see ya